He reads all them books. He knows all them big words. He just don't never use them. Talks like every other fool around here. Every now and then he'll throw out some word and you're like, what? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. He reads all them books. Hey, hey, how'd you do? I recently got in a big stack of books, four books from the Folio Society. And you already saw me opening up the box and unwrapping the lots and lots and lots of this stuff here. The padding that Folio Society used to protect these books. And apparently, from what I've seen so far, the last few orders I've gotten, it does a pretty good job. They wrap it up real good. You saw me unwrapping, 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 unwrapping. And I unwrapped George Orwell's 1984. So let's take a look and see what else we got in this set. Voila, just kidding, that came with it. That's not what we're here for. Let's do some more unwrapping and see what kind of cool stuff we got in this collection here. You could almost spray paint this stuff and use it to make a, a hideout in the woods, cover the kids' fort with it. You can have some fun. I ought to give it to the kids and let them get creative out in the woods out back over there. Build them a little fort and camo it up with some of this stuff here. What else do we have? Just unwrapping and unwrapping. And I'll unwrap all day and all night if it means my stuff is well protected. And I think it is. That means a lot to me. When I buy a book, I want it to show up at my house in as close to perfect condition as I possibly can. That's what I want. And uh, hopefully that's what we get. Let's see what I got. Let's take a look. What we're gonna look at right now, this time, is this one right here. Look at it. All right, so we got a book and it is wrapped in a thick, kind of thick, plastic protective thing to help, I'm assuming to help prevent scratching and stuff like that on our slipcase, and I'm glad they do it. Any steps that a publisher takes to help protect my stuff in transit is much appreciated. Thank you, Folio Society, for uh, for your effort. Thank you, Mr., Ms., whoever is the one that's packing this stuff for, for me, for doing such a great job, and hopefully your hard work pays off. So the next one in my collection, Ever hear of it? Cat's Cradle by a person by the name of Kurt Vonnegut. And quite frankly, this is the reason that I placed this order. I'm talking, but what I need to be showing you here is a phenomenal looking spine and a terrific looking slipcase. I love slipcases. When I buy a book, if it comes with a slipcase, it's an act slipcase. Slipcase, it's an added joy. Not only do they look better on the shelf, with slip cases it helps to protect the book it really adds a touch of class and everybody knows that knows me I need all the class I can get just saying so the cat's cradle is illustrated by Junico and we're gonna take a look at these illustrations here in a minute our slip case it is a paper slip case with foiled designs and I'm sure you can see those there looks really good let's take a look at the book and see how she looks there we go got it out and it looks just so good set that aside for now and take a look at the the cover art I saw pictures of this book on Folio Society, Folio Society's website, and the pictures just don't do it justice. It is so much nicer than it is on the, on the website, and this is a, a smooth, I dare say almost slick cover. It's not a the rough cloth binding, and you see the foil on the spine, you see the foil in the cover man it looks so good so i'm really excited that the folio society has tackled cat's cradle and uh, i'm the kind of person you want to give me vonnegut i want vonnegut i'll take it vonnegut i'll take it and i was excited to get this one and frankly that's the reason i placed this order there's a 
With the Folio Society, I always seem to have books waiting in a shopping cart, waiting for excuse to press them buttons and pay for the freight to come from the United Kingdom to the United States. The freight can be pricey. As some of you people know, I'm probably not telling you anything you don't already know. So I'm looking for an excuse. I have several books waiting in the cart. I'm waiting for that one book to say, I got to have that one. The time is here. The time is now. I must buy. And the Catch Cradle was the, was the one. I saw it and I said, okay, I got to make the purchase. I might as well get those other books that I had in the cart. And every time, every single time that happens, once I place that order and I get the stuff in, I realize, you know what? There's other books I should have put in that cart and I should have placed. This is no exception. I got two more books in my cart now that I'm wishing I'd have ordered with this. Waiting for the excuse to pull the trigger. Waiting for other books to help cover the freight. Let's take a look at our, our end papers on this book. And let's see. Uh, I've talked about printing already with the Folio Society books. Some people sneer at the talk or the thought of print runs. People are wanting a first print. It, it, it upsets some people. I don't know why it would upset them. Book collectors have historically wanted first edition books, and the first edition book collectors typically wanted the first edition first print books. So why would book collectors, when they switch to illustrated books or limited edition books or anything like that, why would they just shed all of those desires and say no longer does a first print matter and it it does it does to me it doesn't mean that i understand a folio society book is typically reprinting books that have been out a long long time so the first print is not deal or no deal it's not going to kill the desire to have the book but when i can get a chance i'd rather have a first print edition of this book and this one has just come out so as one would expect first printing 2022 so uh, i got it i got it in the mailbox who knows how many printings of this book they'll go through one of the fears is when a book comes out in the first print they're not guaranteed to ever do a second print so if you want it when it comes out just go ahead and get it if you can swing the price the price of purchase just go ahead and get it put it in your collection call it done and you never have to hope that they'll come out with another edition. Let's take a look at some of this artwork that's included in Cat's Cradle. Uh, let me get this here situated. What I'm afraid of is that I'm gonna be flipping through this book and I might miss some of these pictures. So I'm trying to do it justice, trying to do it the right way, trying to, there we go. The, the, the pages that the art is on is a little bit thicker. You can't see it, but I can feel it. It's a little bit thicker and quite a bit slicker, so I should be able to find them all. I'd like to show you the artwork that's included in this book. One of the neat things about the Folio Society is you're buying illustrated books, mostly, usually. You're buying illustrated books, so you get nice covers, usually, nice slip cases, usually, and usually you get nice illustrations. So I wanna show you, the reason why you're going to be buying these books or why people buy these books in general. And I'm a big fan of the Folio Society. I'm a big fan of a lot of publishers. The Folio Society has published a lot of books that are dear to me over the years. And there's some that I dare say the only really nice edition that exists of some books is the Folio Society edition. So when those come out, it means a lot to me. But at the same time, there's books like in like 1984 where I've got multiple very nice versions of that book. Why wouldn't I want to get the Folio Society version as well? It's very nice. I Am Legend is another one. Uh, did I show you this one? Talking, I'm not paying much attention, but that, that's a good looking picture there. I got a few more that I can see from letting my fingers do the walking and I'll try to make sure we can get them all out there for you so you can see what it is see what it looks like and choose for yourself if you want it and if you want it go get it go get yourself there you go the cat's cradle kurt vonnegut <clears throat> one of the one of probably one of his two most famous books and uh one of the all-time famous pieces of literature in history a great book 
all in all a great book, a great Folio Society edition, and a great collection to my terrific collection. So that being said, I can think of no more lies to tell. Cats Cradle's in. I'm excited. Thank you, Folio Society. Hey, it's folks. Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. Say la vie, baby. Did it. Come on, George. You're gonna have to move, buddy. Find a new spot for you.